Well, I'm guessing at some point you've probably heard this story of this professor who stood in front of his class and he had an empty jar. And so he took the lid off and inside of it, he started filling it up with rocks. I'm gonna try and do this without breaking the jar. And so he put the rocks in there and he said, is the jar full? And his class agreed that yes, the jar was full. So then next, what did he do? He took some smaller rocks and he started putting those inside. And he could fit a lot more in the jar, right? So once again, he asked the class, is this jar full? And they agreed that yes, it was full. Well, his last step was to take some sand and to put that into the jar. So he made a big mess in his classroom, but he got sand in the jar and now the jar was actually completely full, right? And the idea is, is that if we put the big rocks in first, we can actually, we still have a lot of capacity to fit a lot of other stuff in life around it. So today let's talk about, but what happens if our jar is starting to get filled up backwards, maybe the big rocks aren't even fitting in anymore, and if we're starting to feel overwhelmed, how do we get to dump our jar out and have a fresh start? And so I think you can see where this is going, that the large rocks, they represent what is most important to us, our family, our faith, our health, and also what we do to produce income for our family. And then we have these, you know, the little pebbles that they add enrichment to our life. They might be our hobbies, different activities that we do for the kids. And then we have the sand, and sand is things that could potentially be distractions. I think it's where a lot of us get in trouble. And so when we put everything in the right order, everything fits, it's balanced, and it's great, right? And so if we use this as a metaphor for our life, this I think is what we're all striving for. But what happens so often is that our jars start to look like this instead, right? Some of the big things like our health. Have any of us had like a health scare lately and we realized, oh my goodness, without our health, like what do we have? I mean, our family, of course, but we need our health to have quality of life and it is something that we should be investing into more, right? But we know how these things get pushed to the outside. Sometimes the sand can start to take over. So today, let's talk about though a couple reasons why it's so important to get this back in balance and how we can actually dump out our jar and start over if it is a little bit out of whack. Two things that I think are really important to realize about this jar, then we'll talk about how we can empty it out again, is that Basically, we're the only ones that can do anything about it if it's in this state right now. And I read this quote the other day. It said that we wear the chains we forge. We wear the chains we forge. And so the circumstance that we're in right now is mostly our doing. Yes, there are external things that play into it that we can't control, but really our schedule, the activities we agree to, the projects we take on and work, the type of work we decide to do, it's, for most of us, it's pretty much in our control. And the reason I think this is so important though is that I was just reading this study about kids. And so they said, what is the number one thing that you want from your parents? And I think most of us would say that their response would be, they want more time with us. And historically in the past, that was the number one response, that kids are looking for more time with their parents. However, in recent years, the response has shifted. And the response now is that kids want their parents to be less stressed. And so unfortunately, our kids are picking up on our stress levels, our anxieties, our sense of feeling overwhelmed, and it's causing them to feel stressed and anxious as well. But the other thing too is that then when we look at the big picture, if our jar is like this all of the time, it's one thing if it happens once in a while, but if we're perpetually having a jar that is overflowing and out of whack, that this is how we're teaching them to manage and to take care of their jars too. And so it's not what we want, but I know how it happens and I know how it goes and I know how we get to this point where we're just like, I don't know what to do though with it because everything seems important right now and I don't know what I could possibly take out of my jar. And so let's talk about three ways that we can basically dump out our jar and start all over again. And so the first is to take a break. And so we're on vacation right now. We made it down to the east coast of Texas. We found the beach, we found sunshine. <laughs> Our hearts are happy <laughs> right now, right? And so we just get to be away for two weeks right now, which is 
awesome. But we didn't get here overnight. So early on in our marriage, Tom and I said, you know what, it would be really awesome if we could take a couple weeks in the winter and a couple weeks in the summer just to get away. And so it has been something we've been orientating our life towards and working towards for the last 11 years and this is the first year that we've actually achieved it. So it didn't happen overnight. And if we can get away for a little while, we, we get perspective, right? Because when the jar is this close to our face, it is so hard to tell like, is this pebble important? Like, do I need that on there? Is this sand? Do I really need it? And so it's really hard to make decisions about our jar when we're so close to it. So we can get away for a little bit. It causes perspective and I'm like, you know what? we don't need this, right? This, this I need, right? This I need to fit back in. And so if you're not able to actually get away on a vacation, the next best thing we can do is just to take a break right, right where we're at. And so to tell friends and family and coaches, say, we're just taking a break. And we talked about this at Christmas. I love this line because it doesn't imply that we're quitting, that we're giving up all of our responsibilities or that we're never gonna do it again. It's just what it says it is. It's a break. We're just telling people, we just need a break right now. And most people can understand that. Spring break's coming up, summer vacation. If you can take a week, two weeks, even up to a month to just cut out everything except what pertains to these big rocks, it's gonna allow us to have perspective and be selective about what things we decide to add back in. The second thing that we can do is to start filtering every invitation and activity that we agree to by rock size. And so if my mom invites me out to lunch, yes, that's a great way for me to invest in the relationships that are most important to me. However, if the kids get invited to a birthday party that's 45 minutes away, four hours long, and it takes up the best part of our Saturday, that actually isn't in line and doesn't support our family relationships rock, right? And so it can feel kind of selfish to be like, oh, I'm sorry, we can't attend this party or I'm not gonna you know, help with Girl Scouts or an activity at church, but we have to remember that if we're feeling stressed out, our kids are feeling stressed out, we're not actually doing these things well right now and we would be much better off to get our jar back in balance and then the activities that we do decide to add back in, we can do them really well. So my hope is that if we can be selfish for a season, get things back in whack, we're gonna start doing things really well, really intentionally. These rocks are gonna be solid, we're gonna feel good about that. And doing one of these pebbles really well is gonna make a way bigger impact than doing 10 of them just half-heartedly. And then the third thing is to use sand as rewards. And so sand can take the form of social media, watching a show on Netflix, going shopping. They're not bad, but unfortunately when we get stressed out, a lot of us tend to just turn to them to zone out, to deal with our stress, and to kind of check out for a little while, right? And so a simple shift that we can make is to use the sand for reward. So for example, maybe I don't go on social media until I've done something to invest in my faith life. Maybe we don't watch a show on Netflix until my husband and I have had 15 minutes to really reconnect. Maybe I, I don't go shopping again until I get my bedroom totally decluttered and then I reward myself with a couple new accessories. Maybe I only watch YouTube, <laughs> I have to be careful with this one, if I'm doing something active, if I'm walking on the treadmill or going for a walk outside or something like that. And so a simple shift can really make this sand really powerful when we when we use it as a reward and then we don't feel guilty about it and it really does add enjoyment into our life and even better yet we're setting a really good example for our kids and so i would love to know like where is your jar at like honestly i function best when my jar is like half full like nowhere near full and i know our tendency is always just to add 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 things in but i find i'm the most connected with my family i have the most creative ideas if you're hoping you know if you have this income rock and it's stressful or you want a promotion or you want to change positions or totally change career fields it takes a lot of energy right and it's very hard to do that if our jar looks like this However, once I got to this point, I felt like I had options again. I felt like I had energy, I had more ideas. I was doing a really good job with the work I was doing and so I deserved promotions and the changes in position. And so it's amazing to me how when my jar is like this, I feel more hopeful. I feel like there's more possibilities on the horizon that I wouldn't have considered in the past and I definitely feel less stress and le less anxiety. And so I know that you can get there too. Like I said, I'd love to know what, kind of like what's the state of your jar <laughs> right now. Are you recognizing, are there some things that 
you probably need to weed out to make room for these big rocks. I would love to hear that. Or how do you maintain balance if you've gotten to that point? So please leave that down below. Uh, coming up on Friday, we'll share an update of our vacation. It's been going really great. The camper is awesome. We love it so much. And it has been really great. A few minor mishaps along the way. So we'll give an update on that on Friday. But if you haven't already, we'd love it if you subscribe so that we can like talk more about how we keep our jars in balance. Simplifying your house helps a ton. And so we'd love to share ideas about that, hold you accountable. So be sure to subscribe. A thumbs up is the best compliment that you can give us. And we'll look forward to visiting with you again really soon.